Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and as usual, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot. And, oops, this reading will be for uh, December 15th. But of course, I always want a message to help our souls grow, so it can be rather timeless. So we have the Nine of Swords reversed, and our theme card is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And let's see. And then we have the Six of Wands. Well, that's an interesting combo. <laughs> okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, well, this card has to do with um, seeds that either haven't been planted, like opportunities not taken. Uh, there's something about... Uh, you know, it could just be about how we, uh, maybe it's about us needing to, like, be careful with what money we spend. Because, it, you know, because being reversed, I mean, you can just see the difference here. Upright, there's like, we have so much, you know, that's available. And reversed, there's going to be a little bit of like a tamping down on, um, on assets and, um, you know, just spending, I think. Like spending habits. I'm like it's just it's not a good time to be too risky is what the message is looking like um, or just to not take on anything that that you don't think you can handle in the future I uh, but with the nine of swords reversed well that brings a little bit of a different element I'm um, because it can be like being released from a nightmare type of a situation, and we're actually, you know, finding healing. And especially when we're willing to put ourselves out there, you know, allow ourselves to be seen, um, you know, or seen, heard, and understood, basically. That's our creative self-expression. So, oh, I get it. Don't hide your gifts. <laughs> Don't hide your gifts. Uh, the, the healing has happened. The healing has come through. I mean, you can see when, when the Nine of Swords is straight up, it's kind of like it's the nightmare card. It's insomnia. It can sometimes just be a headache. Uh, but notice the white dove here that brings in the light and, try, and, and at least the guidance is there. The, or the guardian angels are there. The peaceful power is there. See right there, and the energy is flowing down to kind of like quell the, um, you know, the the mind that's going crazy, right? So nine, like nine swords, nine birds. Uh, the the swords is the suit of communication, so it, it brings in the element of communication and thoughts. So the big the big white one here is trying to calm down the other eight ones that are going crazy. So, so going through that process is very challenging, but when it comes through reversed, there's, there's healing. It's actually a, a, a card of, of healing. So, it can have to do with the fact that we've faced a fear I'm getting that feeling of like we've faced the fears and they're now they're below us. You know, we, we've 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 let our our minds go crazy enough that we realize it doesn't get us anywhere, <laughs> right? So we've stopped worrying, and you know we're also um, not hiding all the seeds that we've planted in the past that are starting to come to fruition and we know that they are they're the creative seeds that will that will bring in you know this um victory this is the card of victory the six of wands is a beautiful card for um recognition and achievements sometimes it's even fame sometimes it's even outright fame so if there were fears in the past of being, you know, semi-famous or famous at all, or fears of, uh, 
being too much, you know, or your talents, hiding your talents. It's, I get that feeling of like if you're hiding your talents in fear, then you won't get to the victory that you want. Because this sword is, just, I mean this sword, this card is, is uh, with the Nine of Swords, it's so much about um, just, you know, knowing that everything passes and, these, you know, fears pass. But when you have the courage to go through your fear anyway, uh, and you can even focus on, on others and helping others shine their light, uh, then everything turns around. This has to do with concentrating on, on your resources and what you need in order to shine your light out into the world. So it's a very simple, short message, I think. Um, now, if I were to read this card, being that, oops, that it's the theme, this card is just a, the only thing to to really, you know, worry about. If there's going to be any worry, it's just about going into debt. It's a card of, you know, not going into debt, being very careful for, you know, bad investments, and also, you know, poor planning, things like that. But most of all, being careful so that you don't miss an opportunity. Because, you know, the, the card straight up is all about opportunities. And just remembering that you can always, you know, within reason, we can create anything we want in the universe or in this world. The universe is there for us. And in fact, it's bound by law to receive us. So whatever seeds we want to plant into the earth, of course, we have to nurture them. But don't be afraid that they won't grow. Because eventually some seed has to take place, has to open, you know, and has to take, um, I don't know, flight, even though it's going into the ground, but it does grow up into whatever, whatever it is that you're creating. It grows. It will grow. So this could sometimes be the fear of success. It could also be the fear of failure, which is pretty much the same thing. Just different sides, you know, of the equation, or two sides of the same coin. But yeah, I still get the feeling, it's really the main message is for us to not, not hide our talents, to nurture our talents, and to not be afraid. There's, there's real healing here when it comes, comes through to allow, like, give your talents away. If we just go with just the image, it's like, give your talents away. Allow yourself to be seen. It's actually a really beautiful message. And, you know, if you happen to wake up with a headache or you had a really bad headache the night before, but, but now, you know, today, because, you know, migraines can be debilitating. So if that's what it is for some of you, I uh, in yesterday was a migraine day and you didn't get anything accomplished. Don't beat yourself up. Just get back to what you were doing. Pat yourself on the back. Today's a brand new day and don't be afraid. But if you're a little bit tired or needing lots of um you know grounding which includes water. <laughs> you know, we can't grow anything without water. <laughs> water and the light and sunlight so get just give yourself everything that you need to get through it if that's what it is but I, I really feel like the main message just has to do with not being afraid to uh, share your talent and your light so okay well that's that's all I have there thanks you guys for listening and I hope you're all doing well and take good care okay bye